Hi John, can't believe it's the big CS70. Love to be with you on your big day. Could have had a great party if it hadn't been for this crazy world. <laughs> but thinking of you as always, lots of love to you. Have a great day. Love you. And Jim says hi too. Bye. Hello John. <coughs> I'd like to wish you a happy birthday mate. And may it be a very good day. The way to stay young is have a birthday every two years, like me. Not like foreigners that come over here and have two every year so they can draw a pension when they're in their thirties. But I really hope you have a good day, a good life. I'm over the manor with the dog to get away from the noise that's in the house next door. And I'll tell you, mate, it really is a nice day. A bit cold, but good. I'll still get up in the morning ready for the dust. Mate, you laugh, don't it? That's how young you are. But I really hope you have a good day, mate. Enjoy it. And I'll try and find some deer and I'll send them on. All right, mate. Have a good time. Good luck, John. Good health. See you soon, mate. And speak to you Sunday. Come in. Virtual surprise. Happy 70th birthday, John. Really, really sorry I can't be with you, but surprise, surprise, they've flown my cardboard cutout to you all the way from Australia. <laughs> now, a few memories. I loved it when you used to come over to where we lived in Woodford and we used to play darts, we used to play Sabutio, and we used to play all that. But most of all, my memories of you were of fishing and I'll be forever grateful that you got me into fishing in a really, really big way. Because before that, fishing to me was just catching sticklebacks with a net. Wonder what ever happened to a net. Lovely girl. Anyway, I digress. So, I loved it when we used to go to the Norfolk Broads and fishing and there was the occasion was when your brother jumped off the boat and fell in the bushes and we never see him for about 10 minutes. The time Rick went to throw the rope um, when we were mooring up one day and he kind of toppled in as well, that was quite funny. But most of all, I loved it in the evening when both of us got down to the fishing on the bank, just you and I. When I think I asked you one stupid question one night when your umbrella come floating by and I said, is that your umbrella? We were the only two on the, uh, on, on the bank. So, um, so before I go, I am now going to play for your pleasure Happy Birthday on this steel drum. <clears throat> me, 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 me. No, that's not good. On the fishing bit, I'd love to go again with you, definitely, but unfortunately, on the move from Woodford to here, my, uh, my fishing gear got lost and I'm afraid that's all was left of it. So if we do go again, I'm gonna to have to borrow your um, your gear, I'm afraid. So anyway, have a great birthday. You really deserve it. And hopefully we can get together soon one day and uh, celebrate properly, all right? Take care, bye. Happy 70th birthday, John. Hope you have a lovely day, the best you can in isolation. But I hope you get to see everyone and say hello to everybody for me. Um, you deserve to get spoiled today and hopefully when this is all over I can see you very soon but for now have a really good day sorry this is a bit short but I think my dad's speech outshined me a little bit but I did take his hat hi John well here's a blast from the past I just want to take two minutes to wish you a wonderful 70th birthday I hope they're not winding me up I can't believe that you're 70 I often think of the laughs we had way back when, you know, when God was a boy and I was a wee lass. Well, okay, maybe not too wee. I've been thinking about the fun that we had after Sue came to work with me at Romford Dogs, meeting Ricky, how we used to do the boot sale every week, every week. Went to Hackney, got up at 3 a.m. where they could sell anything. I remember a man walking around once trying to sell one shoe. He sold it. There was a guy with one leg and a crutch. You couldn't believe it. You'd be seen dead in Hackney now though, would you? 
well, you would be seen dead in Hackney actually because it's a very rich place, but it's also quite dodgy. Not as dodgy as Ilford, I'm still here. And what else did we used to do? Oh yeah, actually, something I wanted to ask you is, were you the sensible one? You never came to the boot sale because you were looking after the kids. Clever man. Then there was the bingo. We never won our fortune at the bingo, but we used to go two, three times a week, something like that. Then there was the day trips to France. They were fun. And also the caravan. When you used to, used to go down, well, I think you used to go for the weekend for the break and the others used to go during the week. And I still, I still remember when you got that job working with Tony at, I can't remember the name, but some bank. Are you retired yet or are you still going strong there? <laughs> I really don't know, lost all sense of timing. And what about the rivalry with Spurs and Arsenal? That was always a good one, wasn't it? I don't know, the trouble Ricky got me into supporting Spurs and Pete now a West Ham fan and I'm living just around the corner apparently from the ground, so um, I'm a bit of a traitor. Anyway, I just wanted to spend a few minutes saying those things, thinking about the memories and to wish you a really, really good birthday. I know it won't be a birthday like the kids. No, no, I know they're not kids and got kids of their own, but they'll always be kids, won't they? I know it won't be the same and it won't be what the kids have planned for you given the strange times are in and of course you'll be thinking of dear Sue and everybody else but have a wonderful day or as wonderful as you can take care often thinking of you and all the others lots of love bye oh and it's Marianne by the way see you hello mate how are you Right, well we hear you've got a very big landmark birthday coming up. So we thought we'd take you on a trip down memory lane. Hello John, well here we are. Do you remember this? Well I do, because I remember when you told us you got it and uh, we all came up here en masse as a family and started to clean and paint and do various things. I know it was hard work but you spent many happy years up here and so we just thought it'd be nice to take you on that trip down memory lane to the shop. We also had a few family meals here. They were lovely. Lots to eat, lots to drink. If I'd known you were paying, of course I would have ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. No longer called Camelot, now a Miller and Carter Steakhouse. Hi John, this is a place that brings back many, many happy memories, and I'm sure it does for you too. What's this on the floor? Oh, dear Ricky, you're invited to Makeda's 14th birthday party. Well, better late than never, I suppose, John. Do you remember that party, John, where you was on karaoke and you were singing um, Oh Danny Boy? I don't remember it because I weren't invited, but never mind. I'm sure you'd like to have a look around the place at the moment just to see what it's like. Andrew will film it for you.
So that's your trip down memory lane. We hope you've enjoyed seeing it as we enjoy revisiting all of those places and all of the memories they brought back. So without further ado, we'd like to toast you. Here's to a happy 70th birthday. Yeah, John, hope you have a great day and uh, we hope to see you all soon and uh, look after yourself. Take care, mate. Happy birthday. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, John. Yeah, happy, John. Birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. John. Cheers. Happy 17th birthday, John. John. I hope you have a John. wonderful day. Sorry we can't be with you, you, but in the future we will celebrate together. I hope you have a nice wonderful day. day. We miss all, you. Okay. all the best for the future. Uh, well, Madam is in the land of Nod. I thought I'd just take the opportunity to make you a little video to wish you a happy 70th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day and get some water. Take care. Morning, Uncle Johnny. I um, just really wanted to say it was lovely of Michaela to come and ask us to um, say something about our memories of you and as a when I was young, as opposed to now, I remember you as my fun uncle. You were young, you were cool with your motorbike and your leather jacket, but you also always had time for us as kids. You know, you would always do some drawing with us, play some jokes, do some magic, take us to see the animals. You know, my memories of you just that any time we spent with you, we spent a lot of time laughing and I wanted to thank you for that. Um, and hopefully that you know that we try and carry on that tradition with our own children and grandchildren. Um, and thank you very much for being my uncle. Bye. I hope you have a great day. Hello, John. How are you, mate? I uh, hope you have a nice day on your birthday with your family. Um, on your big 70th mate anyway um just talking about the old days on the dust we have some good, good times on there over our park playing football if you remember rightly a couple of gangs of us and uh up brick lane we had some good times mate and uh the trouble is we're all getting over the hill now well i am anyway but um anyway listen mate hope you have a good birthday with your family and um hope to see you one of these days up in spalding or you down in frinton on sea but uh, we still keep in touch on the phone. So, mate, all the best to you, mate, and the family, and um, you take it easy, oh, old man. See you, Johnny. Okay, happy birthday, Uncle John. This is a, a birthday message from us, uh, just to uh, say we wished we were there, but we're sending you virtual happy birthdayness, and. Um, we were just gonna reminiscing over our childhood and a few things that we were remembering from when we were very small together. Um, and I think we can all <laughs> come up with a, a few funny things that we remember. And particularly for me, it was the uh, glass topped Space Invader arcade game <laughs> that you had in your house in Crossways uh, uh, that, uh, uh, <laughs> kept me very excited for <laughs> quite a while and uh, I don't know about you guys <laughs> what you what you uh, remember as well yeah no, happy birthday John um, again big 70 so well done um, sending you love and hugs from here in, uh, in Canada so I, I, I too have fond memories of the uh, of that of the Space Invader machine I think it did evolve over time for different games um, but I certainly always remember having to bring money and uh, nagging dad for uh, 10p's and stuff to, uh, to play the machine. So uh, anyway, I, I hope you uh, you have a great birthday and uh, uh, we, you know, we wish we, we could come and join you, but unfortunately this is, uh, this is as good, good as it gets. So uh, happy birthday. Hi there, hey Bert Tong Chong. Um, so greetings from sunny Suffolk, only one county away, but tier two has put a cropper to that. Um, equally for me, the 
the tabletop glass Space Invader was a, a, a thing of fear and loathing for me, being the youngest, I never got to play on it. But one of my greatest memories was the um, the abundance of v VHS and Betamax videos that we used to get, um, with every now and then occasional heads popping along the screen, with someone saying, shh, sit down. But um, yeah, I can remember fondly watching Star Wars and E.T. on a rather shaky, blurry copy from some cinema or, or other, but yeah, good times. Yeah, absolutely. So um, yeah, happy birthday, happy 70th uncle, John. And um, I think I just I just wanted to say how much I appreciated um, your connection with our dad uh, and you know how 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 that meant so much to us, and uh, I'll never forget that. So uh, anyway, have a wonderful day uh, and eat lots of cake and uh, have a toast for, from us. Okay. Uh, See you. Bye. 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 Happy birthday. Bye. Hello. Um, probably recognise me. Yes, I'm John, one of your nephews, or John Paul. I have a young lady here as well. Uh, first of all, uh, happy birthday, John. Um, I'm not sure whether it's 60, 50 or maybe 70 years young. But I'm just, uh, as a young lady here as well, I'm covering my badge because that shows Argus, as you can see, another one of my jobs, yes. Jack of all trades, master of, yeah. Um, which should be your title, really, because I've always said that you can turn your hand to pretty much most things but a very humble man why on earth you say you're working class I'll never know because you're top class mate anyway um, pass you over to this young lady you might recognize her she's a little bit lower than me but oh, where is she um, there we are hello John my young say? brother I must say happy birthday and uh, many many happy returns and um, at least you've got uh, Jack to um, talk to and you Jack. speak every day with me but um, you are my young brother and I love you so much and um, it's great talking to you every day and um, I know there's a little bit in the uh, top of the, the frame, but um, that used to be um, in uh, Mum and Dad's. But uh, I think you would recognise it if you saw it. But um, at least I've had my hair cut. You haven't seen me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the easy job now, John, because I'm letting Mum do all the talking. She's not. No, Very I... natural with that. So I haven't got Jenny <laughs> here. Uh, cool, dear. I look a different colour, don't I? Um, either my mum looks very pale, or I look <laughs> very, very warm today. Um, let's just say I've been working hard. My head actually looks... The... Anyway, um, <laughs> she's... I've made her laugh, which is good. Mum, you seem to have shrunken a little bit there. Um, anyway, here we are. It is... What is it today? 22nd. No, you're not supposed to say that. Uh, well, we'll pretend it's your birthday, but it has been recorded beforehand. So we're going to wish you, uh, Jenny also wishes you, and Keely wishes you, and I wish you, and Mum wishes you a very, very happy 70th birthday. And here's to another 70. And uh, we'll just sing you a little song. I'm just going to do the miming, and Mum can sing it. So I'm... on the count of one, two, three, Mum. Happy birthday, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got to, to hurry you. up to catch me. Happy birthday. No. <laughs> now I'm doing the singing. Come on, sing up, Mum. Happy birthday, nice and high dear it. Johnny. Happy birthday Can you go any to higher? me. To you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay. Help me, John. Anyway, have he, he a wonderful time. He always says I don't stop. Love, wishing you a fantastic day from no. myself, Mum, Keely, no. Jenny, and uh, also our cat, Kira. Hey. And um, also from Sean, Connor, and Amy, who I'm sure 
can remember many nice times that we had with you. They had with you when they were younger. So, big up from us and keep on smiling and you've got one more job to do. Um, you're still young enough to do it. We need another Prime Minister. So please, please put in that application um, because we're in dire need. See you soon. Oh, well, oh. also, Johnny, when you were a little baby, you were very, very good. <laughs> you were very good. Um, and uh, it was um, uh, Gerald and I that were quite uh, um, uh, children without any, without any, um, yes, we, you were happy. And so was Bill, and he, yes, he uh, isn't with us, and uh, dear Susan isn't with us this day. Your 70th birthday, dear. Keep well, and um, you haven't got any chickens to look after, but when you were a little boy, you were always looking after the chickens. <laughs> The geese, so the geese are okay, but the gander... Mum, we've got to let other people get in on this video. Yes. So, we're mm. going to close it up now. There's well, a lovely I... picture there. Sorry, I haven't got yourself in there, Michaela, but I'm sure you understand why. Um, we've got a nice one of Kieran and and your dad and John in there. Anyway, it's bye-bye from us. Whoops. Oh, that's why... The... Mum, Mum, where's the camera? Just say cheerio. Yeah? I'm not very good at this. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> now you tell me. Happy 17th birthday, Dad. Sorry we can't all be with you today to celebrate, but we will make up for it really soon. So in honour of it being your 70th birthday, I thought it'd be a really nice idea to list my favourite 70 times when you've been really funny. So number one, actually I can't think of any. Anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. And um, yeah, love and hugs from us all. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday, Grandad. It's not happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Gwen. Hi, Gwendad. Love you so much. I like spending time with you a lot and talking to you. Happy birthday. And I'm a cheeky monkey. Gwendad, I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and how much you mean to me. You mean to me a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I've loved taking Paddy for walks and even treasure hunts. You remember when you used to hide it under the table? It was really fun. And you've taught me so much about drawing and like the techniques and like how you do the stuff for wood and everything. And about birds and nature. I know loads about that now. And um, that's all because of you. I love you so much, Grandad. Happy birthday. Hey, Dad. Hi, John. <laughs> Oh, Johnny. Forgot his name. Right, Dad. <laughs> happy birthday, happy 70th birthday. Um, the 70. old, the I'm old. <laughs> happy yeah. birthday, John. <laughs> the older you get, the older I feel, and I'm not quite sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So uh, if you could just ease up on the numbers for now, that would be brilliant. Um, yeah, have a good day, and uh, we'll we'll see you <laughs> very very soon. It's probably around ours already. Happy birthday! Yes. <laughs>